we have to, to really understand that we have a racial divide. And um, a lot of that is rooted in history, a history that we have yet to confront. Um, we need to confront that history. And, and on the policy aspect, the way to close the wealth gap, we know how to do it because we've done it for white Americans. We did it after the Great Depression. We know how to do it. The mixed economy, banks, government, you, you know, secure mortgages, you make them risk-free. We did it. It didn't cost very much money. It actually increased money, right? We just have refused to do it for black communities. And so if we're going to talk about it, we've got to talk about it in a way that is um, federal, large, and that targets the problem, which is segregation, concentrated poverty, all of that stuff. And, and it, but it takes looking at the history in an honest way instead of saying, oh, well, Martin Luther King gave the speech, and now we aren't going to judge people by the color of their skin. And so, good, we're over. And you know, it's like the John Roberts rewriting. He says, the way to stop racial discrimination is to stop discriminating based on race. And what he meant was, we are now colorblind. And what we realized is we're actually not colorblind. We've never been colorblind. So we have to see color again and look at it in a way that is, recognizes the history of color.